Hi everyone. Again, this is me, Sandra, from the Boys and Girls Club of LA Harbor, here with my co-worker, colleague, and friend, Yadira. Hi everyone. Who's helping us with the camera today. Then today we have a special, special day. Here at the Boys and Girls Club, we like to celebrate many things, but the one that I love and deeply is Earth Day. And as you know, this Wednesday, we are going to celebrate one more year. And the Earth celebration will be 50 years. Imagine, you see? You see, that's why I have right here a beautiful cake. Okay? And so each cute. candle symbolizes 10 years. It means that this festivity started back in 1970, long time ago. Okay? For most of you, it's long time ago. <laughs> then let's move on. Then, but then today we start our regular activity. I do really want you to help me with doing something that I do with my dear members here every year. Every year we sing happy birthday to Earth. And I know that we have we have to keep our distance and that you are far away from me and I'm over here. I still want you to you sing with me, okay? And please don't fall in love with my beautiful voice. <laughs> I know that. Mm -hmm. And then just sing along with me. Okay? We're going to start when I say three. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Happy birthday, dear Earth. Happy birthday to you. Bravo, bravo. Woo! Yes, and then because of that, and, and because we like to celebrate Earth Day, we're going to have two projects. One, every week, as you know, I always recommend you to read a book to inspire our activity. This time, I'm going to recommend you to look this video. Mm -hmm. As your parents, um, then some of them uh, will have access to different, different um, networks that they already provided. Uh, but if you know, it's good to know that this movie talks about taking care of the earth, especially or trees that are so beautiful and needed. They provide earth for us. Then, because of the Lorax, today we're going to throw him. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see, Sandra, yeah. what you make today. And then we're going to end up making this oh, so beautiful cute. tempering Lorax. And he's going to say something. Oops, excuse me. He's so cute. He's going to say something like this. All right, I'm going to get close. Because here. it's true. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going, going to, to get, get better. better. Isn't that? Yes, it's true. Then the Lorax. Then now let's start. What we need is your little feet, your beautiful little hand. Yeah, of course mine is humongous, <laughs> but just for the sake of the um, the project, I got it. I got it. Um, I got it. Uh, use my own hand. Okay. Uh, I have previously traced my hand with that sharpie mm -hmm, because I want you guys to see it. And I just put my hair, look at, look how, I, this is what I need. If the parents, anyone, adult is with you, okay, please help the little ones. And they need to have their, their hand really close, like this, like mine. My okay? hand closed, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, today I have my, my special friend with me, you see? Oh, who's this, Sandra? This is my magical pencil, and it has a, and has a pencil and a paintbrush. Uh, I think this That's is one cool. of the things that I love to bring every time that we, I go with the children to museums. This is something that we do here a lot. Okay, then I brought it uh, with me today. So you guys are going to use your pencil and then you're going to go around your hand. Okay, you see, you follow me? Okay, now, again, mine looks dark because I used a sharpie or a regular black marker don't forget that please um then after that we're going to do the eyes here i have one on pencil mm -hmm. 
if you get closer i had this one previously draw only with pencil oh yes mm -hmm. i can see it. i'm gonna get a little yeah. close can you see yes okay now now just i'm going to trace over with the marker so you can see we're going to start with the eyes that we've been talking about what is the shape a circle and another little one inside then the other one is another circle and another circle inside i want you to notice that those two are close to each other okay then if you draw them um a little far away from each other that's okay my recommendation is that you draw it close to each other right here we're making the nose that is like a curvy line and then you see this is kind of flat this is not completely a circle okay now the mustache you can go to the what is this the right um, far left no, to uh -huh. the left mm -hmm. thank you Yadira to the left and make a curvy line don't complicate yourself just do what you can okay and then go down again right here and end that line right below the nose you see and then on this side do the same and then finish it connecting it to the other side mm -hmm. right here we're going to make the mouth it's just a little circle with a tip that connects to the right here in between the mustache, okay? Now, did, did you think about something, this shape, did something comes to your mind? For me, it looks more like a leaf from a tree or a raindrop. Mm -hmm. Then you can you can do that too if that make it easy is it easy for you to recognize. Uh, right here the eyebrows the eyebrows are like like a little feather. Those zigzags maybe. Uh huh. Yeah. It's like a, a line a curvy line and then you go back one two three times. Yeah, this is like a zigzag lines also, and then. Obviously, this is our hand. Oh, I see it. Can you see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Doing good. Yeah. Then now here, we have the trees. The trees are two parallel lines. It means that two straight lines, straight parallel lines, okay? It means that they don't connect. They're like good friends. They walk together, but they never touch each other. It's like a we're going to we're doing right now in this difficult <laughs> times. We cannot touch each other. We just walk together. Okay. They're practicing and social distancing exactly. too. Exactly. Thank you, Jadira. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I like that. That was that was a good example, Sandra. Yeah. Thank you. You see. Oh, and don't don't worry. They don't have to be straight. Okay. Then actually, if you make a little. Cricket or not too straight is perfect. Then we do one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Some of that are longer, some of that are smaller. I will give you an advice that the ones that are close to the Lorax make it smaller, and as you move far away, you can make it longer. They can even go all the way to the down to the bottom of the paper. You see? Mm -hmm. Then here. The trees look like, oh, look. They have this organic, remember that word? Organic, oh, crazy look. Okay, it's just a crazy line, look. And you just go, it's like a curvy line. Oh. These trees are more free than anything else. Why? Because there is not a specific form. Okay, then you just go and use this crazy funny line. Uh -huh. The reason why I'm not going over here is because with this, I'm giving the illusion that my tree is behind this one. Mm -hmm. And this one is behind this one. 
You see? Yeah. That's a little trick. And right here, I, I left a little space. It means that there's more distance between these trees compared to these ones. Okay? I see, I see. Uh -huh. Now, this line, it doesn't have to be straight because this is what we call what the horizon line. Okay, this line divides the grass from the sky. Uh -huh. You see? And that's our drawing. Remember, I use the black marker so you guys can see it. But everything up to this point needs to be done with pencil. Then after that, I grab, you guys, some of you might have access to watercolor. Okay, then we're going to find the blue color. The blue color will be the darkest color. Well, there is all of them are dark. Sorry, but put attention, look deeply into this palette. This is what we call palette. And then get water because this water color, it says that. Then you need to bring, you need to have water and you dip your pen brush, shake a little bit, and then I start painting. And then I put, use blue. Mm -hmm. Then do your best. Sorry, it's okay if you go over the trees, things, things like that can happen. Mm -hmm. This is what I want you to you realize, little ones. The more water you add to the watercolor paint, the more light it's gonna look like, okay? And the less water is the darker. Can you show us some examples of that? Uh, look. Grab a little bit of less water. A little look. If, if I do this and I clean the water, thank you, Yadira. Mm -hmm. I clean the paintbrush. I'm removing most of the water and I go to the paint. Let's see. Look how dark it looks oh, yeah, like. Dark. But however, if I don't, if I go here to the water and I don't clean it and I, I just go back, look, you see? Go back to the paper. Mm -hmm. I don't even need to add more water because it's already light. Mm -hmm. Try that. Then, then you see how, how cool it is to work with watercolor. But right here, I already have painted the blue. Mm -hmm. Then for the, for, for the grass, obviously, let's use green. When you change colors the same, you need to clean your paintbrush really well. I have my recycle but clean even though that looks really colorful, mm -hmm. towel. And then I use a change and I will paint wet. I do the same with green, like this, you see? Okay. And then for the trees, I, my recommendation is to use different colors. Don't use a boy, green and blue because you already have used it. Use markers, pick the colors that you like, and have fun. Sounds good. Anything that stands yeah. out. Anything yeah. that stands out against that blue. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you. That's why I pick yellow, red, uh, pink, and, and purple. I will stay um, away from gray, but however, if you like gray, go ahead and do it. Okay? And I know you can pause this video. Pause it anytime you like, and I would like you to write this quote on the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. Close so the kids can yeah. see. The, the kids that you guys can see it. Mm -hmm. And remember, yeah, if the way that you guys can celebrate Earth Day is helping your parents upside, uh, in the garden today, or oh, taking care of the tree upside your home carefully, obviously, uh, always with someone by you or uh, uh, helping you, and recycling, that's the best way. Saving water, energy, turn off the lights, okay? There is so many other things that you guys can do. Another quick project that you guys also can do is uh, this cute little flower. Now what you guys need is just half of paper, a regular size paper, you fold it like this, remember, portrait? You fold it, you either cut it or you tear the paper like this, okay? You can ask a grown-up for help. Then you get a 
paper, um, paper roll. And then what you do, you roll the paper, doo -doo 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 -doo, okay? And then you just put the paper inside. You don't even need to glue it, that's really cool. And after that, then you're gonna go and grab your, grab your uh, watercolor, paint it. So it looks like this, okay? And then you, I have, I have a paper already pre, um, pre-painted. You can do that before, or you can do it when it's rapid. It doesn't matter. Then to make the leaf, you're gonna grab another, the other half of the paper. You're gonna fold it, mm -hmm. and you're gonna make. Remember the lines. You're gonna make a curvy line. Okay. It can be as almost as big as that the paper. Okay, as long as the paper is. Then you're gonna go. Sorry. Oh, here is my. I forgot. Okay. Then I'm gonna go back to my special pencil, and you're gonna connect the line. Here we go. Mm -hmm. A line in between. Uh -huh. Then you're gonna grab scissors. Are you gonna start from this side? I'm gonna show you a trick. And then you're gonna keep going. No, actually, no, sorry. I was supposed to do it the other side. Sorry. Okay, anyway, it works. Okay, and now this, you can choose either. Uh, no, actually this one, I would choose this one. Mm -hmm. because my lights are going up the veins inside the, the leaf. And why did you flatten it, Sandra? Oh, because it's easy to glue it to like glue. that. Mm -hmm. Yes, for the gluing part. Thank you, Yadira. Okay, okay you see, I do my lines. Then here, I, I use glue, this glue, Elmer's glue, or any kind of glue. And I, I use it here. And then I paste it, it looks like that. Also use the green, the green marker to go over the pencil Super line. Super cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, um, and then um, after that, you will grab another piece of paper. Remember the shapes? I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this Sharpie. We're gonna do one circle. Mm -hmm. A decent size and then we're gonna make loops one two three four five six as many you can fit one and then we're gonna make a line inside mm -hmm. and after that we're gonna make that stem thick no nah, no we don't need this we just need the, the flower sorry then we're gonna cut it a little bit with the stem. You can do the stem, but you don't really need it. Okay, then you just need a, a little piece of a little piece of stem, and you're gonna cut it out. Uh huh. Take your time. I just I just doing this fast. Mm -hmm. And then once you have your your um, flower done, you glue it. Another thing that I did is look, I colored it on both sides. You can do it that way. Whatever, whenever you look, the flower is gonna look beautiful. Also, something that you can add here is do the same lines. You can do it on this side too, mm -hmm. like this. And then, so remember, enjoy it and learn to oh, read. And I hope you watch this video and others. There are many, many, many other movies also about um, preserving our earth. Enjoy the week, and I will see you next time. Thank you. And if oh, you guys please. have any examples, yeah, Sandra. Yeah. And then now, uh, before we left, uh, we leave. Before we leave, then I uh, want you to remember to follow us in our web, in our, um, our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any examples or questions, 
please make sure to email Sandra at her email right here. Thank you for saving my life, Yadira, as <laughs> no always. Problem. Okay. Problem. Um, but then again, don't forget, let's celebrate Earth Day and take care of yourself. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, -bye. bye See guys. See you next time.